Hi everyone, today we will be talking about how we can get the data from SQL servers in Collections Desktop. Especially today, we will have practice on and we will create connections to MS SQL Server. Let's start it. Let's first of all, let's get new application, call it SQL. Let's open application. And click on button add data from files or other sources because uh, we will be creating ODB connection. Here we are ODB connections. Then we have providers. So we have different kind of providers here. So as soon as you have, you can have any connection here. From my side, I have Microsoft ODB provider for SQL Server. And I already installed MS SQL to my local lab computer, lo local laptop. Uh, that's why I will be choosing here a server as Yolk. It's possible that you will be connecting different data sources, so you have to write your own server name. And additional, it's possible that you will you have already a username and password. You have to provide it here. I don't have, so that's why I will be using Windows Integrity Security. And let's test connection. Here we are. Then load the databases. So it's loaded. So we have few databases. Let's go to MS SQL Management Studio. Here we are. We have EOC as a server name and database as data set. And we have table here DBO employee. As we can see, we have all the script here and we have all the data. Go back and this uh, it's our uh, connection name. Let's make it it's called SQL DB connection. Here we are, let's create it. Here we are. We have two options. Rather, we can let a quick sense desktop to create automatic sync for us, or loading script for us, or we can create our own. So let's uh, check how does it work. So let's show our database a data set. The owner is the bio, and here we are. It's employee table, and it's our column names, and it's the same column names: ID, name, age, and salary. Let's go back. It's the same. So let's create it. Uh, let's click uh, this to create a connection for us and also load script for us. It will take some few seconds. And here we are. So as we will see, that it's auto generated uh, section for us, and here it's already. Uh, created all the database database correct name table names and indexes and all the necessary data it can be then the finally here we have connections so let's assume that we don't know about this one and we would like to as MS SQL management study we have script and let's copy the script because I would like us uh, to create and to use the same script as we are using in uh, SQL Server Management Studio in our Clicent Desktop. So, first of all, we have to add our connection. Then, we have to write SQL because it's, it will be a SQL query after this. Then, we are like to select all from our database name is dataset then dbo the name instance and the table name is employee and here we are let's exit script because we don't want this again section to be executed here we are let's load the data it's connected to our uh, server then uh, all 
will grab 23 lines. Let's see if we have all the lines. Let's edit and let's go to table, add to the table to see other columns and fields. Let's add ID, then name, age, and salary. Here we, uh, we already achieved how to the data from MSQL databases. As you can see, the last one is 23 ID. Let's go over. And here 23 is the James is last one. Let's add one new row here, 24. Let's make it John and let's make it 30. True, and let's give it as name as a salary 2400. There we are, it's done, it's already saved. And let's go over to the desktop and let's load the application once more. In previous time, we had 23 lines, right now, we have 24 lines. I accept this ability uh, of Kicksense because it takes uh, all the time it's connect to databases and getting the last update version. Here we are, we have 24, John and 2400 salary and 32 years of old. Thank you for joining us today. See you at the next videos.